Hey, Mad Travel family. We have arrived today in Brussels. Did y'all know that the Smurfs originated here in Belgium? So we gonna see what we can get into like little Smurfette from back in the day. <laughs> All right, we're also traveling with a group from Stuttgart on a bus. So we just have a little bit of time, but we are gonna pack it in and take you on a joy journey with us. Yes, we're going to try all the waffles, all the chocolate, hop on the canal, see the old palace, and we're going to take you along with us. All right, here we go. Woo -woo. We have arrived at Mini Europe, so we're going to take you on an adventure inside. All hail to the queen. Hello. Oh, that's you. <laughs> Ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. This is nice, but I've been to the top with my tall hunk of chocolate. And we did set the top of the Eiffel Tower. But this replica is so pretty cool. They went without me, but don't worry, guys. I'm going to get there, and I'm going to get you there, too, on Mad Travel. We are now on the water bus enjoying the beautiful canals of Brussels. We have been on a bus today, a train, a tram, and this is our new mode of transportation on the way to the Realism Museum. We are here at this hyper realism sculpture exhibit and y'all it is like crazy to see how realistic these sculptures are I mean yes his hands are freakishly large but and look at the baby like the newborn baby it still has like the umbilical cord and everything art is so incredibly creative. Terry has become a part of the real life exhibit. Watch her become a true work of art. Welcome to the Mad Travel Recap, where I'm the mom, and I'm the daughter, and we are going to tell you about our day trip to Brussels, Belgium. Now, this was our first time traveling in a group on a bus, and I have to say, I thoroughly enjoyed not having to worry about navigating, parking, and we connected with some wonderful people while on the trip. Yes. I think I really enjoyed once we were off the bus and eating those Belgian waffles. Honey, there's a reason they named it after that country because they know what they're doing with the waffles. She was waffle wasted. I think tipsy at best, Mom. <laughs> okay, you're right. <laughs> so, normally during this time of year, the flower carpet takes place in Brussels. But due to COVID, it's being postponed until next August. Now, when things like this happen, do we get discouraged? No, ma'am. No, it allows us to think outside of the box, get creative, and see, take in other things that we may not have normally would have visited. For sure. We had so much fun doing things a little bit outside of the city center. We toured Mini Europe Amusement Park, which had little miniature scales of all the awesome places we planned to see in Europe, and even gave us new ideas of places we hadn't thought to hit yet. It was great. We took in some lovely art at their hyper-realism sculpture exhibit, um, which we also probably never would have seen if we had gone to the flower carpet. And we also became part of the exhibit. We did. I, we were also the art, which I mean, you can tell just by looking at us, <laughs> works of art, honey. So on the way, we even accidentally, really, truly, accidentally found the Beach Volleyball Belgian Champion, National Championship. And we sat and watched a little bit of that on the way to the art museum. So really just so much fun, beautiful canals that we took in on their local water bus. I mean, just 
beautiful. Yes, and in addition to that water bus, we also, of course, travel by tram, by train, the regular city bus, and made our way to so many different parts of Brussels that it was just beautiful and a pleasure to enjoy. Yes, we wrapped up with dinner at Manhattan Burgers. We wanted a little bit of American food at the end of the day, and we thoroughly enjoyed. They had burgers, fries, shakes, um, and it was just a great meal. And I guess on top of all the waffles, it was a great way to end the day. <laughs> I definitely agree. So it is so much to see, so much to do. Hope next year we can give you all a even better recap of Brussels when we take in the flower carpet. Yes, but for this trip, I'll say since it was a little bit improvised, but still enjoyable nonetheless, we're gonna give it four, four butterflies. butterflies. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please be sure to like, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell. Thank you guys. Have a blessed day.